Lawmakers in multiple states are currently passing a new bill that would send out extra payments to eligible people. If you're eligible for this, you're gonna expect you should expect to receive stimulus checks sooner than later. First off, Vermont has just passed a brand new bill. The bill is a this bill is very beneficial to people. Vermont House lawmakers this week gave the green light to pass a sweeping plan to put more money into parents' pockets. The Vermont child tax credit payment is similar to the federal benefit parents received last year. House lawmakers agreed to pass a $50 million version of the bill back of the child tax credit payment in Vermont, with $1,200 per child, six and under, split between two annual payments. So these extra relief payments would really help many people, many, many people, everybody, that are currently financially struggling. The current the credit replies the credit applies to families making less than two hundred and twenty grand annually though. And some Republican lawmakers wanted to cap the benefit at a hundred grand and invest eleven million dollar savings into a tax credit for Vermont nurses. The amendment bill, however, has the amendment bill everybody, however, has failed. And these crisis relief proposals from Democrats and Republicans are paid for with a huge surplus in the general fund. Lawmakers say that they are all aimed at sending more stimulus money to people that need it. Also, action is being taken at the state level for Alabama. As for struggling residents, Alabama lawmakers have also passed a bill today. During a recent interview, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said, The presidency is so much larger than just votes in the legislature. The president has not been using executive power to the extent that some would say is necessary. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez also criticized moderate Democratic holdouts like Manchin and Sinema, who have blocked key legislation in Biden's Build Back Better. So while Representative Ocasio-Cortez acknowledges that there are certain outcomes outside of Biden's control, she said there are some things within the president's control, and his hesitancy around him has contributed to a situation that is not optimal. The president has a responsibility to look at the tools that he has. That's some big news, everybody, and I know that President Biden can do a better job on this. But so far, Alexandria Castillo said, AOC also argued that the Biden administration should cancel student loan debt for people that are experiencing financial hardships right now. She said it's entirely within his power to do so. Now, this really isn't a conversation about providing relief to a small niche group, to a small niche group of people. It's very much a keystone action politically, she said. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders has also expressed his frustration with the Biden administration and lawmakers. Sanders cited a new analysis from the Center on Poverty and social policy at Columbia, which found that 3.7 million, sli- million kids slid back into poverty with the expanded monthly child tax credit payment on pause. Sanders has, pu- Sanders has continued to call for stimulus checks and expanded monthly child tax credit payments to continue. But friends, millions of people who have never filed a tax return will need to do so this year in order to claim what's coming to them under the enhanced child tax credit payment. But as part of the $1.9 trillion crisis relief package, Joe Biden expanded the program, increased the payments of up to $3,600 annually for each child, and $3,000 for those ages 6 to 17. The government began to send the payments out on a monthly basis starting last July, and now there are an additional six months, six months worth of payments waiting to be claimed. Folks, it only makes more sense if President Biden can get this job done sooner than later. And if you think he can do it, tell me in the comments down below. On Friday, Joe Biden... President Biden made history, wonderful history, by announcing his nominee to replace Stephen Breyer on the U.S. Supreme Court, Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson. As promised, President Biden named for the first time in history, the first time in history, a black woman to sit on the high court. As promised, his nominee is beyond qualified and brilliant. And as promised, The Senate will now begin the work of quickly confirming Judge Jackson to the Supreme Court of the United States of America. Appointing individuals to the High Court, as we all know, is is truly one of the awesome responsibilities of any president. And in choosing Judge Jackson, President Biden has hit a home run with an even-handed and so gifted jurist. More importantly, I congratulate Judge Jackson for this historic honor, 